Welcome everyone to today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, a discussion video where we will be taking a look at Predator Plant Fly Hell. Uh, we don't know its English name yet, but we'll probably figure that out at some point in the next few weeks or so, months maybe, probably in the next few weeks. It is a level 2 uh, plant type monster, dark attribute, 400 attack, and 800 defense, and because I'm not that great at reading Japanese, we'll just go here to read its effect right here. Once per turn, ignition effect. You can target one face up monster your opponent controls. Place one predator counter on it, which is a new counter that the predator plants make use of. And then there's a text right next to it level two or higher monsters with predator counters become level one. Interesting ruling immediately. This, this thing that's placed by the predator counters, it's written on a card. A counter itself does not have any effect. None of the counters do. Sometimes like, when an opponent's monster has three spell counters, you can do this. But predator counters, like with the A counters that are used by the alien archetype, have an additional effect. However, that effect can't be written on the counter. It has to be written either in the rule book or on a monster card. And in the case of aliens and also predator plants, it's written on the monster. So level 2 or higher monsters with predator counters become level 1. Thing is, it's written in between brackets. I'm not sure how, whether that was against the aliens, but I'm pretty sure that it needs to be a predator um, plant, like Fly Hell, face up on the field for the levels to actually change if the monsters have predator counters. Pretty sure. We'll check in a sec. Anyway, um, back to the effect. You can target a face up monster the opponent controls and place a predator counter on it. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster whose level is less than or equal to this card's, you can destroy that monster. Then increase this card's level by the destroyed monster's original level. Thing is, this monster is level 2, and the only monsters that are going to be lower level are going to be level 1's, which are going to be really hard to even battle, because there's not a lot that, will, that are played. However, by making use of its first effect and the predator counters, you can make the opponent's um, let's say, um, the Dark Magician, I use it a lot. Opponent has a Dark Magician out, you just normal summon your predator to plant Fly Hell, activate its effect, make Dark Magician a level 1, predator to plant Fly Hell attacks into Dark Magician, which would normally go real bad because of the difference in attack. However, at the start of the damage step, predator to plant Fly Hell's second effect kicks in, checks Dark Magician's level, level 1, hey, Dark Magician destroyed. Then, Dark Magician's level, its original level is 7. On the field it was level 1, due to Fly Hell's effect, but its original level, as written on the card, is 7. Therefore, Fly Hell's level would increase from 2 to 2 plus 7 equals 9. It would become level 9. How you would really make use of that increase in level, I'm not really sure. I suppose that would make it easier to if you had just have Fly Hell still on the field. Let's say you end your turn there after having destroyed Dark Magician. It will be hard for your opponent to then use just regular battle to beat Fly Hell. Because even if they're then able to bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon, they're still not going to be able to battle past Fly Hell, because Fly Hell at that point is level 9, and they don't need to use the first effect to be Blue Eyes using the second effect. Because Blue Eyes, level 8, is lower than Fly Hell's level, or level 9. So in that sense, it can help itself survive. Um... However, it's still completely susceptible to a lot of card effects or compulsory evacuation device, um, your mirror force, um, things like that. The effect, the, the second effect only happened, the activates at the start of the damage step, mirror force uh, started the battle step, like in the battle steps, uh, right after attack declaration, or at attack declaration, technically. Um, so... If you use something like Mirror Force, then the second effect will never apply, therefore your Dark Magician, your Blue Eyes, or Dragon, or whatever you have, uh, will be fine. It'll just still have a Predator Counter on it. Let's just immediately check that Predator Counter page. Uh, however, to apply this level changing effect, the controller must put into play a monster with an effect that specifically mentions it, as it is not an inherent condition for Predator Counters. Yeah. So just like with the aliens, so you can have your predator counter, but if there's no um, monster in the field that has part of the, the part of the effect that says predator counters make them level one, 
then they don't become level 1. Although this is interesting. Also, if the monster leaves the field, so let's say Fly Hell and Dark Magician again, just, just like before. Fly Hell makes Dark Magician level 1. You know, like, well, pray, place the Predator counter, makes level 1, attacks into Dark Magician. However, Dark Magician player uses Mirror Force, destroys Fly Hell. Second effect never applies, Dark Magician says in the field. However, the Predator counter is still in Dark Magician. And according to the rulings on the Predator counter, if the monster leaves the field, and this is the monster, uh, I, I assume this is Fly Hell. Uh, I'll just read the entire once this is however, any monsters who gain predator counters will have their levels lowered while that monster remains for some field. Yeah. Also, if the monster, in this case, Fly Hell, in, in our scenario, if Fly Hell leaves the field, the levels of the monster on the field with predator counters, Dark Magician, at the same at the time, still remain lowered. So, it's an effect that, like, the predator counter can be there whenever, but at some point, even for like a millisecond, Something like a card like Fly Hell that um, has this part, this line somewhere in its effects, has to apply even for a millisecond for the level to be lowered. After that, it's a ling I suppose a lingering effect that comes with those predator counters, and those mods will be lowered. Yeah, pretty sure that's about it. Uh, then we have Squid Rosera, Morena Penthes, who can do stuff with that as well. Chances are they place them. I haven't really looked uh, too much into what the Predator plants do and how they play together with the Predator counters. I've just looked at Fly Hell specifically. Um, Star Venom Fusion Dragon, haven't. I've taken a look at that like one, two weeks ago, like it's a TCG effect, a TCG OTG effect. I'm not sure if that uses the Predator counters as well, although I believe it can be some with Dark Monsters, which the Predator plants are, they're all dark, but... And I'm just purely looking at Fly Hell right now, and I'm thinking that next to helping it survive regular battle, how can we make use of the increase in level? So once again, this scenario, Fly Hell, Dark Magician, Fly Hell destroys Dark Magician use, uh, using its effect, gains the seven levels from Dark Magician, becomes from like from a level two it becomes a level nine. How can we make use of that? I suppose like some Xyz plays, but the opponent will you won't know that the opponent will have a certain level unless they standard play just a bunch of level fours and then that's it. Then this will always become a level six and you can maybe make level six Xyz's. But that's really hard to play for and you'd have to have a big variety of Xyz monsters that way in your extra deck, which I don't feel will be it it'll mostly be situational. Maybe synchro plays will be a bit easier, although you'd still need a big variety. Then again, if you have monsters di generally, if you play synchros, you, you'll have a higher chance of having monsters of different um, levels in your deck anyway. So you'd have a bigger variety of synchros in your extra deck anyway. So maybe that um, higher level. How what else can you make use of? Maybe there's something on a tips page. It's quite a new card, so I'm not sure if it'll be there yet. No, just a bunch of things that you can use to search for it. Trivia. Um, from the genus Helium Four as a plant, and then it appears in the artwork of Predator Planter, like spell or trap for the archetype. I assume something that places Predator counters. Ah, so far an anime exclusive. Pay 800 life, Mentor destroy the scar once for an expression level for the Predator Plant. No, it doesn't place the counters, but it does summon the Predator Plants. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. I'll, I'll leave that to the comments right now. What can you think of that, like how you can use specifically Predator Plant Fly Hell? How can you make use of that level increasing effect? What combos can you think of? What plays you can think of that you can make after having increased its level? Or something that triggers when it increases its level? Can you come up with anything like that? If you do, uh, if you're able to come up with that, let me know in the comments. Um, I suppose if there's some combos you have with that level increasing effect that work with the other predator plants as well, you can let me know of that. I'll, like after this, I'll take a look at the other cards, the other predator plants as well. But for now, this was the discussion video on predator plants fly hell. I will see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's daily Yu-Gi-Oh video. Goodbye.